The problem we were trying to, to overcome was to come up with a great phase change material, one that was cost effective, one that would cycle many, many times, uh, one that you know just basically did what you'd expect a phase change material to do. Melt and freeze cleanly, absorb a lot of energy when it melts, release the energy when it freezes, and turned out the market wasn't really offering that in the way that we wanted. So we went looking for a solution. A colleague of mine uh, contacted a number of people and one of them he contacted was Interface uh, and he had a really interesting and good experience of dealing with Interface. It was a very clear question about what the problem statement was which he provided and then Interface came back a while later and said we've tried everywhere and we, 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 we can't find somebody who deals with phase change materials but would somebody who deals with nucleation or crystallization be a good person? And we both looked at each other and we said, yeah, that sounds exactly like the sort of person that we want. And it was from there that we got introduced to, to Colin, and, uh, or Professor Pullum to give him his proper title. And, uh, and the rest is, is very good history. I think there are numerous benefits, you know, not least is the, you know, the, the collaborative research and indeed funding. We also, I think, experienced the excitement, if you like, of, of working you know, close to a startup company with all, mm -hmm. the, all of the challenges which were associated with it. And that gives, gave me, as an academic, an understanding of how business works. And Andrew was always saying to me, what about cost, what about cost? And as academics, you know, we don't necessarily have to think about, about cost. And actually, it's given me a new research area, which I think is, I would not be in this area without Andrew's uh, involvement. And that's really very, very, very important. And then the, the, the final aspect is the demonstration of socio-economic impact, which the you know, UK government is very interested in, uh, Scottish government is very interested in. And this is all about you know, demonstrating how research in laboratories and academic you know, institutions can improve, uh, make socio-economic mm -hmm. impact. And this is a, an excellent example of, of a, a really good story of, of how fundamental research has been applied, translated, and is actually changing the quality of people's lives and having an, e an economic impact. Mm -hmm. This is important because in the next uh, Research Excellence Framework uh, exercise in 2021 you know, there will be impact case studies and I am determined that there will be a SUNAMP University of Edinburgh impact case study highlighting the, the successful partnership. Mm -hmm.